Hello everybody and welcome back to Art with Miss K. Now I know today looks kind of funny because this looks more like a cooking show than an art lesson, but I promise it's going to be really fun and creative. So today we're making homemade paint. Yay! It's going to be so fun. So the first thing you're going to need is some a bowl to mix your supplies in, some flour, some salt and some food coloring and some little bowls or baggies are great instead of bowls to divide up your colors. So all you're going to do is use equal parts flour, salt, and water. So what that means is no matter how much of each you put in there, it has to be the same. So I just pulled out a measuring cup. This is a half a cup, and I'm just gonna go with that. But you can just use however much you feel like you're gonna need. So this is a half a cup of flour, and then a half a cup of salt. There we go. And kids, make sure you ask before you start getting out uh, stuff out of the kitchen because what if your mom needed this stuff? But there's half a cup of salt. And then we also need half a cup of water. So I've got a little bit of water here. I'm going to pour it in. But what I found is you might need a little bit more than half a cup. I'm just going to put a little bit more, and then you can see how much you need based on how it kind of feels. So the next step is going to be to mix it up really good. So you're going to keep mixing it until it looks like some runny pudding, okay? And then we don't want it to just be white, so now we need to divide it and add our colors. So for this part, I've got some little glass ramekins for my colors, or like I said, baggies are a great option. You can use the baggies and then even like squeeze it out of the baggies is fun. So I'm going to just put a little bit of this in each one. I even went and grabbed a couple more little ramekins so that I could have more colors. So now once you've separated out some of your pudding mixture or paint, you're going to get out your food colorings and you're going to get to make your colors. So first, I'm just going to put a little bit of red in this one. So if this is red, I'm going to make this a little bit of orange and then yellow, green blue and purple. So I need a little bit of red for my purple. So red, this is going to be orange, so I put a drop of red and a drop of yellow and then one just for yellow. Now don't use a whole lot of food coloring because it doesn't take a lot. Watch. Once you stir it, a little goes a long way. I think that was only like three or four drops. Once you have all the colors mixed, then we can start painting. Half of the fun is kind of like mixing up cool colors. And if you want like more color options, another good idea could be to use a muffin pan and put a bunch of little bit of the white in each cup and mix a bunch of different colors. My purple did not turn out very purpley, unfortunately, but we will make the best of it. So next we can talk about paper. We can't use just any regular old paper because it will be too thin. A good option is cardstock or if you have paper plates. I cut this circle out of the paper plates that me and Jarrett use because we pretty much always use paper plates. Or if you don't have that, you can cut up a box like this is an old cracker box and you could paint on the side that's not shiny. So like painting on the inside. So next we've got to make our painting. Luckily for this part you don't really need a paintbrush because of the way that the paint is. 
it's a little bit thick for a paintbrush. So what's good to use is utensils. So what I like to do is just use a spoon and scoop some on here. And I'm going to start by trying to make a rainbow. Let's see, or maybe even a butter knife, like a palette knife. Let's see. And anytime you need to change colors, always make sure to have a handy dandy paper towel around so you can wipe it off so you don't mix up your colors. So next I'm going to just do a little bit of orange for my rainbow. And there you have my rainbow painting. This is definitely not like other types of painting, but there's a lot of cool things you can do with it to experiment with it. Another thing you can do, set my little rain, rainbow painting side. So once you're done, set it somewhere to dry, because especially if you made your paint really thick, it's going to take a while to dry. Then you could even get crazy and use your finger to make a little flower. Oh, these are cute. Yeah, right? Alright, and here is my finished masterpiece. I tried to make some little, like, mountains in the background up here. But this paint has a lot of interesting quality. There's a lot of interesting things you can do with it. So just make sure that whatever you're painting on has a nice thick surface and go crazy. Also remember you can put it in baggies and cut the tip off and squirt it out and that will give you a nice line to work with as well. So give it a try and tell me what you think.